Today, we are diving into a topic that's crucial for homeowners facing foreclosure, and that is a cash for keys. Now, if you are facing foreclosure, you are going to want to watch this video. So let's get started. I'm Chris Bain at Williams Realty, and I make these videos to help you make sense of the real estate market. If you would do me a huge favor, hit that subscribe button and give me a thumbs up. I sure would appreciate it. So what is a cash for keys? A cash for keys is an agreement between a bank or the new property owner and the current occupant of the property. Usually the homeowner sometimes can be a tenant, but the owner has defaulted on the mortgage. The idea is simple. The bank pays the homeowner to vacate the property peacefully and on time. Now, you might wonder why would a bank want to pay somebody who hasn't been paying their mortgage? Well, the foreclosure process can be long and very expensive. A cash for keys allows the lenders to avoid the costs associated with that eviction process. So how does the cash for keys agreement work? First, the homeowner agrees to leave the property in by a specific date. They also commit to leaving the property in what's called broom swept condition. This means removing all your possessions, cleaning the property, and not causing any damage whatsoever. Once the homeowner vacates, the bank's representative will then inspect the property to ensure that it meets the conditions that were agreed upon. If everything checks out, the homeowner receives the agreed upon cash amount, typically in the form of a check. Now you might ask, what's in it for the homeowner? Well, if you're facing foreclosure, you probably don't have the cash to secure new living arrangements or pay for moving costs. Cash for Keys provides you the funds to make that transition a whole lot smoother. Now, Cash for Keys can be used in various scenarios. It's common in foreclosure proceedings where the bank has already obtained a foreclosure judgment. It can also be used when a homeowner is pursuing a deed in lieu of foreclosure. For questions on a deed in lieu, check out our other videos here in the comments below. Now, it's also a good idea to consult with an experienced foreclosure defense attorney when you are considering a Cash for Keys agreement. They can help you out and understand your rights and negotiate the best deal for you. You can find information about attorneys on the San Diego County Bar website. So there you have it. A cash for keys can be a win-win for both the lender and the homeowner. It speeds up the foreclosure process for the bank and it provides the homeowner with funds they need to move on. Now, if you found this video helpful, don't forget to hit that button and share it with anyone who might benefit. Subscribe for more informative content. I'm always here for you. Also, remember, you are in charge of that home and what happens to it up until the day you are foreclosed on. So if you want to sell the property and see if you have any equity that you can pull out, reach out. I want to help you get as much money as you can. But whatever you do, do not move until you've talked to someone from the bank and they know that you want to pursue a cash for keys. Thanks so much for watching. I'll see you next time.